what is depression? Depression is known as mood disorders. That means we have mood swings. We go up and down. We go into waves. Sometimes we're very happy for no reason. Other times we get really low, low, low. And when we get to the deepest level of depression, I'm hoping that you guys have never experienced that, is the point that you become totally disabled. You become blocked. You cannot move. You're going to be staying in bed, probably shutting down the curtains, and you have no energy and no mood to move. This is panic depression but no worries guys because today we're going to resolve this and we're going to get digging really deep into it and see how we can come up depression is also a cardiovascular disease meaning if you're going to your uh, doctor and you have cardiovascular disease your surgeon or your doctor might send you for an evaluation for depression. That's how effective it is. So the depression affects your basically uh, chemistry, the, the biology, your physiology. It affects everything and everything. Depression, one of the things that really affects or gets you deeper into depression, I believe is when you and I um, start judging ourselves, looking at our past, and because our past is a combination of many, many decisions that we have made so far, when we look back and we look at the quality of our lives, we think that we made many bad decisions. So we are dissatisfied from the decisions and the outcome from the past. We are dissatisfied today, right? So um, that also leads you in not to trusting yourself and into believing that nothing works for you and you cannot make a decision so you get more block and stuck depression affects the quality of your work right how does it feel when you are depressed and you're really forcing yourself pushing yourself to go to work and then you're constantly down you're nagging so that affects your um, relationship majorly uh, whether it's love relationship or whether it's any kind of sort of relationship it affects your work and eventually it affects your concentrations when you are depressed your mind is not clear you cannot concentrate on your task and on your work and normally depression is also because it's a mental illness it could get combined with stress and anxiety so i said you cannot have depression without stress and anxiety or you cannot have stress and anxiety and not be depressed so these kind of work together also it's obsessive compulsive disorders it's the pattern of the repeated thinking that you and i get into this loop of a negative thought and it keeps running and it keeps going and we get into this loop and that we don't we can't find a way um to get out of it right so this pattern is constantly going and since the quality of our thoughts it's extremely important if we are going towards the negative thoughts and that negative thoughts creates a negative energy and it keeps going it keeps grabbing more negative thoughts and the energy becomes bigger and bigger and bigger imagine guys that you're rolling a snowball from the top of the hills 
and this is a negative roll of the ball, right? As it's rolling down with the speed that it gets, it collects more and more and more and it becomes bigger and bigger. Therefore, you and I now become a collection of negative thoughts and we can't we get we get stuck there we can get out of it i believe one of the biggest issue that we're facing depression especially i believe there was a study done in year two, 2013 that depression it would be the next pandemic by surprise a year later, the depression doubled up. So in that research, they find out that the majority of people who are depressed in age range, unfortunately, is from 18 to 28 to 30 years old. And then further study showed up in the year 2018 that the majority of depression is being faced through our children and that's really something to take serious and think about it how are my children my kids operating 